Is reality static and universally understood? Or does it fluidly mold to our individual perceptions? Let's delve into the intriguing world of radical interpretivism and the concepts introduced by philosopher Donald Davidson. This philosophical approach highlights the importance of interpretation in decoding reality. It disputes the existence of an absolute truth, proposing instead that all knowledge is filtered through the lens of interpretation. This vantage point underscores the subjective nature of knowledge and the critical role of interpretation in creating meaning. The philosophy suggests that our comprehension of reality is informed by our unique, personal interpretations of our experiences and interactions. Let's take a moment to visualize the concept of interpretivism. Imagine you're in a room full of people. Each person is given the same object to observe, yet each person describes the object differently based on their own experiences and perceptions. This is the essence of interpretivism. The belief that reality is not a fixed entity, but a construct shaped by our individual interpretations. It's like looking at a prism. The light refracts differently for each observer, creating a unique spectrum of colors for each individual. So, the next time you find yourself in a debate or a discussion, remember, each person is viewing the world through their own prism of experiences and interpretations. Pioneering the development of interpretivism, Donald Davidson introduced a concept known as radical interpretation. His methodology focused on understanding a person's words and actions by enveloping them in a broader linguistic and societal context. Davidson argued that the decoding of of an individual's beliefs, desires, and intentions hinges heavily upon the comprehension of the community's language and social practices. He took a significant stance against the idea of a private language, emphasizing the critical role of common linguistic conventions in communication and interpretation. Advocating the principle of charity, Davidson encouraged interpreters to attribute the most rational and coherent beliefs to the person under their study. His interpretive methodology significantly influenced language philosophy, mind philosophy, and social theory. Donald Davidson, a prominent philosopher, significantly influenced radical interpretivism with his many essays and books. His insights reshaped our grasp of language, truth, and interpretation. He dissects the idea of conceptual schemes in On the Very Idea of a Conceptual Scheme, 1974, arguing its implication of relativism contradicts the shared nature of language. Transitioning to Radical Interpretation, 1973, he explores language interpretation, emphasizing the principle of and urging interpreters to attribute rational coherent beliefs and desires to their subjects. His subsequent work, Inquiries into Truth and Interpretation, 1984, is a compilation of his most crucial essays on language philosophy. It expands on the role of shared linguistic conventions in communication and interpretation. Lastly, Subjective, Intersubjective, Objective, 2001, delves into the nature of truth, knowledge, and reality, presenting a radical interpretivist perspective that challenges traditional notions while offering fresh insights into the philosophy of mind. Stay tuned as we continue to explore Davidson's trailblazing contributions to interpretivism. Davidson's interpretivism contributions permeate his work with a focus on his philosophy of language and mind. He explores interpretive elements through influential books and essays like Truth and Interpretation and Inquiries into Truth and Interpretation. Furthermore, essays on actions and events and subjective intersubjective objective delve into these topics. Collectively, pieces examine the essence of truth, interpretation, and language, shedding light on their pivotal role in navigating human behavior and intentionality. In essence, radical interpretivism combined with Davidson's notable contributions underscore the subjective nature of knowledge, underscoring the vital role interpretation plays in constructing meaning. It disputes the concept of a fixed, objective truth, insisting that reality is an ever-evolving construct, molded through language, culture, and social context, emerge as the linchpin in shaping our understanding of the world underlining the significance of shared linguistic norms in effective communication. Navigating through life, we interpret our experiences and interactions, reinforcing that our perception of reality is never objective. This dynamic construct is shaped by our unique interpretations. Recognizing this could potentially enhance our appreciation for the myriad of perspectives and experiences that construct our common reality. Voiceover. Exploring the depths of radical interpretivism, we discover its influence extending beyond philosophy, touching the sphere of legal philosophy. 
legal documents such as statutes and precedents invite interpretation by judges, lawyers, and scholars. Radical interpretivism underscores the significance of perceiving these texts within the wider linguistic and societal milieu, highlighting the role of common linguistic norms and communal practices in deciphering their meaning. Within legal reasoning, which involves the interpretation and application of legal principles to cases, Davidson's focus on interpretation as a theory-building process offers valuable insights. It accentuates the impact of context and presumptions in legal interpretation. Moving forward, radical interpretivism's emphasis interpreting beliefs, desires, and intentions has the potential to influence conversations surrounding criminal accountability, contractual obligations, and other legal concepts that hinge on understanding individual psychology and intentions. Davidson's radical translation experiment elucidates the difficulties of interpreting individuals from diverse linguistic and cultural backgrounds, casting light on multiculturalism, linguistic variety, and cross-cultural comprehension within the legal framework. Transitioning, Davidson's perspective on interpretation and language's role in shaping our reality serves as a critique of legal positivism, which prioritizes the authority of legal rules and institutions. Radical interpretivism disputes the concept of a fixed, objective legal reality, underscoring the mutable and interpretive nature of legal concepts and norms. Therefore, radical interpretivism offers a potent framework for analyzing and comprehending various dimensions of legal philosophy, including legal interpretation, reasoning, intentionality, and the nature of legal norms. Voiceover. Let's delve into the relevance of radical interpretivism in Nepal's unique cultural and legal landscape. The country's distinct legal system, with its profound statutes, regulations, and law, can benefit from radical interpretivism's focus on contextual understanding of legal texts, given Nepal's cultural and linguistic diversity. It's a kaleidoscope of multicultural, multilingual communities, each with its own ethnic composition and dialects. Radical interpretivism, recognizing the role of communal linguistic norms and cultural practices in interpretation, could facilitate legal discourse involving diverse linguistic and cultural backgrounds. Continuing on, in legal proceedings like criminal cases, contract disputes, and others where mental states are crucial, understanding an individual's intention and action becomes vital. Radical interpretivism's emphasis on interpreting beliefs and desires comes as a solution offering insights into how legal players in Nepal assign responsibility. Navigating further, Nepal's legal terrain is not just confined to state law, it extends to customary law, religious law, and indigenous legal systems. Radical interpretivism, acknowledging interpretation as a process molded by social and cultural stimuli, can assist in dissecting this legal pluralism. Turning our attention to the challenges, Nepal's legal system grapples with cross-cultural understanding particularly in matters involving minority or indigenous groups. Radical interpretivism's focus on the intricacies of interpreting individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds can catalyze efforts to foster understanding and justice. Finally, even though radical interpretivism may not have been explicitly applied in Nepal, its principles of interpretation, linguistic dissection, and understanding of cultural diversity hold potential for those wrestling with legal issues in the Nepalese context. A voiceover. Radical interpretivism, despite its philosophical depth, is not immune to criticism. One notable critique is its skepticism towards objective reality. Detractors claim that this rejection undermines any form of objective truth or knowledge, possibly leading to philosophical relativism. The overemphasis on interpretation and the substantial role of language and culture in shaping reality, critics suggest, could spiral into an endless cycle of interpretations, with no definitive truth. A closely related criticism is the overdependence on language. It's argued that this emphasis may overlook other important elements of understanding, such as nonverbal cues, actions, and social structures. This segues into the incompleteness of interpretation critique. Critics assert that the interpretation proposed by radical interpretivism is inherently incomplete and subjective, allowing for countless interpretations. There's also a debate over the lack of methodological clarity, some insist that radical interpretivism lacks clear interpretative guidelines, making it challenging to apply in practice consistently. Yet, despite these critiques, radical interpretivism has triggered insightful discussions within philosophy, linguistics, sociology, and other areas. 
Its emphasis on interpretation, language and social context has significantly impacted various fields of study and continues to shape our comprehension of knowledge, meaning and reality. So, despite its critics, the significance and influence of radical interpretivism remain profound.